So this question, question 11, is based upon the table provided in the test up above question 10. We're also given this formula here for weight, which I will write down. So W equals MG, where W stands for weight. M stands for so weight in Newtons. M is the mass in kilograms. And G is the acceleration due to gravity, which again is exactly what we see here in this column, which means this is really a G column here. So we'll see, let's see what question 11 says. So question number 11 says, an object on Earth has a weight of 150 Newtons. So I'm going to just say W equals 150. On which planet would the same object have an approximate weight of 170? Right, so this is 150 on Earth. And we're saying weight equals 170 on Earth. X, right? Because X is the unknown planet. Well, how, how does all of this, how will all of this work for us? So what do I know about weight? Well, I know that weight is equal to mg. What do I know about Earth? Well, I know that Earth has a g value that is equal to 9.8. So g equals 9.8. So I can take those two bits of information and I can solve for the mass of this object, right? So that's, that's the unknown thing. We don't know the mass of the object. So W equals mg, but again, W is 150, m is unknown, and g is 9.8. So I can divide both sides of this equation by 9.8. So I go to my calculator. 9.8 is roughly 10, so I could just estimate and say 150 divided by 10. Let's be, let's be more exact. So 150 divided by 9.8 is equal to 15.3, roughly. So M must be 15.3. So that's new information that I was able to gather. Now, what do I want to do with this? Now I want to figure out, well, I want my, again, weight equals mg. I want my weight to be 170 where the mass of the object hasn't changed, right? It's still 15.3. But the G value is what I'm looking for, right? I can plug in any G value from this table, from any of these planets, right? Except for Earth, because we already know that on Earth is going to be 150, not 170, right? But which one of these G values can I plug in that makes this statement true? So there's no real way to know it immediately we can look at our answer choices here and we just have to try each one so venus for instance let me just clean this up so we can see it clearly venus has a g value of 8.9 now 8.9 is less than 9.8 so i doubt this will work because we want a value we want a w value that's actually increased right but let's just try it just so you can you can see and be certain so is it true that 8.9 times 15.3 is 170 and no it's not true so venus is out how about saturn saturn is 11.1 .1. so i can replace this 8.9 here with 11.1 and let's try that out so 11.1 .1 times 15.3 well that's very close to 170 i get 169.83 so I'm pretty sure Saturn's going to be the correct answer because that's highly unlikely that something just gets a little bit closer to, the, to it than that. But I'm going to keep trying anyway. Uranus is 10.7, right? So it's a lower number, so I, I should get even further away from 170. But we can try it, right? 15.3 times 10.7 is, go to my calculator, 15.3 times 10.7. That's 163.71. Right, so again, like we thought, it'd be, it's even lower than what we want. So uh, Uranus is gone. And then last is Neptune, which is 14.1, which it seems like it's going to go uh, a bit over the 170. But again, we'll try it. I won't write it down. You go to, go to your calculator, 15.3 times 14.1. And what I get there is 215. So way, way too big. So that's gone. So we confirm that Saturn is the best answer here.